the most exciting thing, arguably, in a long time, is that we are going to get the World Baseball Classic. It is coming back, and I'm very, very pumped for this. So am I. I'm I'm so excited about this, Brig, especially, especially, we talked about this a little bit on Thursday on the live. If you didn't join us, here it is. The World Baseball Classic is coming to Phoenix. It's going to be in Phoenix. Down the street from where I live. And it's going to be in Miami. So here are the locations, and here are the dates. Brad, hit us with that overlay. We have four pools of players coming to play baseball. The finals, the championship will be held in Miami, Florida. This is how your na- your nation's team can get there. Pool A is Chinese Taipei, the Netherlands, Cuba, Italy, and some other yet-to-qualify team. <laughs> we don't know who that is. We also have Pool B, as in Bravo, which will consist of Japan, <laughs> Korea, Australia, China and another qualifying team from what I think is the Pacific Rim. Those teams will compete for four slots in the quarterfinals. Those four slots will be he- or the quarterfinals will be held in Japan March 16th. What is that? 15th and 16th. So the the everything starts March what like 8th, March 9th. 9th and then we're going to move into the 15th and 16th for the quarterfinals. Semifinals are in Miami. Two teams from Pool A and Pool B will make it to the semifinals. Now, Pool C and D, Charlie and Delta, consists of Pool C, United States, Mexico, Colombia, Canada, and another qualifying team. Delta, the next pool, is Puerto Rico, Venezuela, the Dominican Republic, Israel, and another qualifier team from somewhere. Those teams go to the quarterfinals. Those, Those games will be played in either Miami or Phoenix. Then everything moves to Miami for the quarterfinals in that side of the bracket, I guess. And then they go to the semifinals, which is in Miami as well. The semifinals, Miami, Florida, March 19th and 20th, four teams, they lead into the championship, the winners of both semifinals, March 21st in Miami. I'm going, Brad. I'm going. And I want to come see the United States play with you in Phoenix. And then, I mean... I hope they're not playing with you in Phoenix. And then I'm going to go down <laughs> to Miami. Maybe playing with them. <gasps> there you go. Then let's go down to Miami and watch the whoever it is. It doesn't matter to me. Let's go to the championship game is what I want to do. I'm down with that. I am absolutely yeah. down with that. So let's go back real quick to pools A and B. So I, I, it's hard to see it on the screen because it's so small, but I pulled it on my phone. And uh, you, were, you, you and I were both right. Pool A starts on the 8th and goes to the 13th. Uh, that's the one in Taichung, Taiwan. And then Pool B in Tokyo, Japan, that one starts on the 9th and goes to the 13th. Okay, cool. Yeah. The beginning of March, uh, get ready for the World Baseball Classic. It's going to be outstanding. It's going to be so much fun. Very excited. It's a month worth of baseball in the FIFA-style format. It's like the World Cup. And it's every time they've done it, it has been ruckus and wild and so much fun. Yeah, because all these cultures are coming together. Like, think of what we talk about the Korean baseball and how they just have cheerleaders and chants and matching hats per section and all that stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. that is coming to Miami potentially, (laughs) and it's gonna be so good. Yeah, exactly. And it's a ton of fun to watch. If you if you're out on it like I was initially, give it a chance. Give it a chance. You were a hater for a while, weren't you? I was because I felt like international baseball, like international baseball competition, like as a whole was watered yeah. down because there's so much talent in Major League Baseball. Then you spread that out among 20 teams for their national teams. It's like a lot of them are really top heavy, which happens. But at the same sure. time, you still get really fun and competitive and exciting games. And so give it give it a chance. You'll love it. It's a great yep. time. So for those of you yeah. that are not familiar with the World Baseball Classic, teams relinquish their players to play in the World Baseball Classic under their nation's flag so they can go play for whatever the nation state they come from is. So you'll see guys play for Venezuela that are on the big league roster and Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico and the United States and everything like that. It's really, that sense. It's really way, way, way better than Olympic baseball. Oh yeah. It beats Olympic baseball out of the water. Yeah. Way better. 